to see say. it. The massive decline of the honeybees is raising new concerns today. Even the White House is taking notice on this. Recently announced unprecedented steps to protect the pollinators. Vicente Arenas met one young girl on the front lines of this vice in a way, in this fight rather, in a way that might surprise you. There you go. Don't let this 10-year-old vendor fool you. Just a little bit, right? Yeah. Okay. Michaela Ulmer hopes to build the lemonade empire. I'm the founder and CEO of Be Sweet Lemonade. That's a pretty big deal. It is. It all started when Michaela was stung by bees when she was just four years old, twice in a week. After that, uh, I would freak out about the bees, like overreact, and then my parents wanted me to do some research so I would be less afraid. And doing that research, I found out how incredibly important pollinators they are and that they were dying. And I decided to create a product that helped save the bees. And then this is a cookbook. She dug up an old lemonade recipe from her great grandma's cookbook and added honey, her way of calling attention to the plight of honeybees. Beekeepers have reported losing 42% of their colonies in the past year, the second highest annual loss on record. Scientists suspect pesticides may be behind the decline, which could threaten our food supply since bees pollinate crops. The pesticides either get into their brain and they can't find their way back to the hive, or they have the pollen with the pesticides and they feed it to the hive and then the whole hive dies. Michaela and her family started brewing bee sweet for local events, then bottling it for a pizza shop. Within a few years, they had a company on their hands. We donate a portion of the profits we make to organizations that help the bees. Some kids your age wouldn't want to give any of their money away, but you're giving a chunk of it. You okay with that? I am. It's solving a problem in this world, and um, it just that that's what keeps me motivated to do it. Whole Foods Market heard about Ulmer's efforts to save the bees and is now selling her lemonade in 32 stores in four states. She's asking questions about logistics or um, what retail uh, retail prices should be or margins. I mean, she's she's incredibly sharp. Approximately 20.3 flow ounces. Michaela's family helps her run the growing business that's now on track this year to sell nearly 140,000 bottles. Even with all this work, Michaela's parents try to give her time to be a 10-year-old. Every weekend, uh, she does something that she enjoys. So it may be rollerblading this weekend or a sleepover this weekend. So it, you, you create a balance because she is working as hard as she is playing. M-I-K-A-I-L-A. Michaela says B-Sweet will debut two new flavors this summer. What do you think when you see all these people buying your lemonade and going, oh, mm, this is good? Uh, it makes me want to even grow my business. And her work continues. Oh, that smells so good. Hoping to create a little more buzz for the bees. Thank you. For CBS This Morning, Vicente Arenas, Austin, Texas. Incredibly sharp is not the word for it. Oh, no, this is the I know. most amazing Midway person we've the, had this week. Midway through the story, Charlie, you go, how old is she again? <laughs> She's 10 going on 25. You go, Michaela. Oh, Didn't you love how she said, I'm the founder and the CEO? <laughs> I would yeah. like and to see Michaela Ulmer yes. for the hour. Yes. 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 Oh, I like her. Grow the business? My goodness. And